Hey guys, I'm Pearson for Fishing Tips for You. I'm going to bring you a few episodes. Uh, the episodes are about fishing knots. Uh, first knot that we're going to see would be the repeller knot. This knot would be used for lures. Uh, the reason is, is that it's got a solid non-slip knot up here and a free loop here for the lure to move around in, giving it a natural, uh, caring look. The knot is good because it retains most of the strength of the line. And I hope you enjoy this episode. Uh, it's just going to show you how to tie it. And okay, so what you want to do trip. is sort of start off by making a almost granny's knot right there. Come around. I'm gonna have my little fishing friend to help me to help me show you. And you bring this through that knot. Like that. Now this part right here is the bit that you're gonna want. That's uh, what we're gonna put uh, through the lure. So you go. This bit goes through the lure. So through the lure, and then there, and then through the uh, knot. That should keep it connected. Sort of tighten that up a little bit. Now you want to wrap this uh, wrap this around a few times around here, and then with this go through here. So up, around, through, and then back through the knot that you just made. See how that works? So up, around, back through. It looks pretty ugly. Uh, I'll take this off here. Let's tighten it. Like that. Beautiful. Now you would uh, trim this bit off. Trim that off, you know, about there. And uh, yeah, so that that that's a non-slip knot. That won't. That circle shouldn't shrink. You shouldn't have it a really small circle. The reason is that's a non-slip loop, usually tied directly to a lure. The Repeller Brothers re re recommended it for the use of their repeller lures, as provided a loop that allowed the lures to move freely and naturally. So, yeah, it's a really good knot. Uh, as I said just before, it gives natural movement to the lures, uh, giving a little bit better than just like a straight tied knot. So, say it was there and it doesn't give any movement. Uh, this lure has actually got it tied in. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's sort of what it's like. So, the knot's there, and that moves freely. Uh, so, when you pull on it, it pulls, moves forward, it gives it that natural sort of look, so sort of a, a jagged natural look instead of a, a man-made flick. Hey guys, so that's all for this video. Uh, the next one should come along in a, in a week or two. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Any tips you want to give me or information that I don't have, uh, just email me. Uh, any ideas for videos or something that you want to know about, just email me again or comment on this video and I'll make a video of it. Uh, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.